he never made it. After a 10-year struggle to overcome his paralysis, Christopher Reeve, the most famous Superman of all time, died in October 2004 from a massive heart attack. That same year, Marlon Brando died at the age of 80, an eccentric and recluse in his Mulholland Drive mansion. And tragedy would even strike Lee Quigley, the boy who played Brando's screen son, the baby Kellel. He was the baby that Marlon Brando held and put in a capsule to send to safety, finally landing on Earth. And he was chosen from a casting search of many hundreds of little infants, largely because he supposedly looked similar to Marlon Brando. Lee Quigley was 10 months old at the time, and um, his uh, attachment to Marlon Brando and Susanna York was, was very apparent on the film. Come on. Maybe at school he might have been teased, or if um, the school kids found out that he, he had been the Superman, or if he boasted about it as a young child. I don't really know what the circumstances were, but young death is terribly sad. Lee Quigley died at the age of 14 from solvent abuse. I believe it was air freshener that the coroner said was finally what killed him. Uh, he was inhaling it. Friends apparently had tried to stop him, but uh, he was Superman's kid and apparently wouldn't listen to anybody. By December 2005, a heart attack also claimed the life of Richard Pryor after his 20-year battle with multiple sclerosis. But despite losing four of her co-stars, Margot Kidder remains skeptical about the infamous Hollywood hex. I think the curse of Superman stuff is nonsense. I think it's just nonsense. The, the reality is, if you get any group of people, uh, and you statistically get, say, a group of, of 100 people, X number is going to have some sort of calamity in their life, because that's what life is about. If I were at Warner Brothers, I would definitely go to a voodoo princess and ask that the curse be lifted. So that, so that nobody else is struck deathly ill or be mortally wounded or... It's fascinating. Now, after 20 years, the long-awaited Superman 5 is about to hit the big screen. With the death of Superman's biggest stars, will the final chapter of the movie franchise escape the might of the Superman curse? I'm sure there are actors who, who do worry about the curse of Superman and do consider very carefully about wanting to get involved in the project. Mental breakdown, suicide and murder. A catalogue of tragedies has damned Superman's biggest stars since its co-creators put a curse on the movie back in the 70s. Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster, who'd spent their lives fighting to regain ownership of their invention, died unsuccessful and bitter in the 90s. But the question is, did the curse die with them? Superman returned to the small screen in the 90s. The famous cape was passed to Dean Cain, who starred in the hit TV series The New Adventures of Superman alongside Terry Hatcher. This hot modern couple had a new romantic take on the relationship between Lois and Clark. Clark? Just a sec, Lois. I... What was great about Lois and Clark was that, that it was about Clark. And then Clark and his romance with, with, with Lois was fantastic. And, and that was the crux of the show, which is different. I guess I'm just not attracted to you, Lois. Liar! You are so attracted to me. I guess not. Guess so. Guess not. Guess so. Can we get back to the story now, please? Fine by me. I've been around for a while. So far, nothing's gone wrong with me, knock on wood. Superman's been hit constantly by bad luck. So, you know, you can be skeptical about it. You can say, oh, it's just a series of coincidences. But really, I mean, too much has happened to all these people involved. Too many tragedies have happened in their lives. Listen, if I'm cursed, I'm doing all right. You know, but I, I, I'm still young and we'll see what happens. But life is life. And Tragedy will befall every single one of us. We're all going to die at some point. And now there is a new Superman. After an 11-year struggle to find an actor to step into Christopher Reeve's boots, the fifth movie is about to hit cinemas across the globe. 
shot on location in Australia with a budget said to be in excess of $400 million, Superman Returns is already the most expensive film in movie history. If you go down to Warner Brothers Studios, outside one of the giant sound stages, they have a painting of Superman that went up, it's got to be 10, 15 years ago. It was there to announce Superman 5. It's still there today, and finally they might have their fifth Superman, but it stayed there, and every few years they go and refresh the paint. But they have struggled mightily to put a face to that Superman. Some of the world's most famous actors, including Josh Hartnett, Nicolas Cage, and Jude Law, have been linked to the role of Superman. I'm sure there are actors who, who do worry about the curse of Superman and do consider very carefully about wanting to get involved in the project. Ashton Kutcher, a major TV star with a, a very good uh, film career, actually said he refused to get involved with Superman after he was linked to the role because of the curse. He didn't want to uh, run the risk of becoming another victim of the curse. I still think it's pretty dangerous business. Hope nothing goes wrong. But despite Hollywood superstition surrounding the curse, one man wasn't afraid to step into Superman's suit. In what has become a Superman tradition, yet another unknown actor was cast in the lead role. Brandon Routh. I'm excited to see someone else put on the suit and fly around and be called Superman. That, that's fun. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a daunting character to play. And uh, I hope this guy does a great job. My heart goes out to the kid playing Superman because he's going to be fairly or unfairly compared to Chris no matter what he does. And he could be brilliant and somebody's going to take a whack at him because he's not Chris Reeve. So he's got a really tough mountain to climb. Brandon Routh is the spitting image of his predecessor Christopher Reeve. But will this uncanny resemblance be enough to convince cinema goers that he is Superman for a new generation? A dream destined to change the world. It's going to have to be very impressive indeed to justify all the hype, to justify all the expense. Um, and I imagine a lot of people in Hollywood are keeping their fingers crossed firmly at this moment. The fate of the new Superman and its latest stars remains to be seen. Has the bad luck finally run its course, or will the curse of Superman strike again? Coming up next in four, a study of two very different personalities. One with a degree in gender studies, the other an adult film star with a world record your mother wouldn't be proud of. The story of Annabelle Chong is next. <laughs>